With hundreds of thousands of personal UAVs currently in public hands, the question of will a serious drone strike on an aircraft occur is no longer a matter of if, but when, in the minds of many experts. While tests on bird strikes have been conducted for decades, what kind of damage a drone would cause was still virtually unknown until now. Researchers at the University of Dayton Research Institute are no strangers to airframe impact testing, and they recently partnered with Sinclair College National UAS Training and Certification Center to determine what could happen to a general aviation aircraft if it hit a recreational drone in midair. We wanted to demonstrate what the hazards are or the risks or potential risks are with a drone strike on an aircraft. There's very little data out there uh, to help people understand what happens. So there has been other types of this type drone testing, but it's been individual components. So they've tested batteries, uh, motors, cameras, and launched them into panels, but not actual aircraft structures. This test was to see what would happen if an entire drone struck the leading edge of an airplane wing. So the drone we use for this type of uh, testing is a DJI Phantom II and that's a very popular drone out in um, for hobbyists. It was loaded into the university's Impact Physics Lab's compressed air cannon, which would fire it at the wing of a Mooney M20 at a speed of 238 miles per hour, a speed that approximates the closing speed between the two aircraft. The drone did not shatter apart. It completely penetrated and it was buried inside the wing. You can see a hole in the leading edge here. The main spar is dented. There's several fasteners that are pulled from the bar from the wing skin. There's uh, some stringers that are bent. There's also some tubing inside that was also bent. So uh, there was a substantial amount of damage to the wing. While Poorman believes the aircraft would have survived the impact, he also believes that for a faster aircraft, the results could have been worse. Yeah, if this was a business jet that was traveling twice as fast as what we tested, there would have been a substantially more damage to the spar or could have penetrated a fuel cell because the energy is, uh, goes up with a square of the velocity. Porman has performed simulated bird strike testing for nearly 30 years, and he tested to see what damage a similar sized bird might cause under the same conditions. To compare the impact of the drone strike to an actual bird strike, we did a, a simulated bird using a gelatin projectile that had the same weight and it was approximately the same speed. The bird actually just crushed the leading edge and didn't do any internal damage. As the drone population increases, the likelihood of these kinds of events is going to also increase. In my opinion, what we need to do is look at more how the drones are constructed and perhaps make them more frangible and, and act more like birds do when they impact uh, and they break apart. And I think that's the key for um, minimizing the risks for these kinds of incidents. In the meantime, Porman cautions hobbyists to understand the potential for hazardous impacts and to be more aware of the risks when they take to the sky. For AIN TV, I'm Kurt Epstein. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.